Alright, so we got some new weapons potentially coming into Infinite Warfare very soon. Now, one of these weapons in particular, you've definitely already seen in the game. Yo, what's going on guys? So today, we're going to be talking about four DLC weapons that will probably be the next set of weapons we get within Infinite Warfare. Now, one of them has actually kind of been like a little Easter egg in the game for quite a long time now. In fact, since the release of the game that a lot of us kind of just forgot about, to be honest. Now, I'm not going to lie, I was kind of disappointed with the last set of weapons we actually got. Like, it was a, a two-round burst assault rifle, an axe, and a pistol. Like, I wasn't I wasn't too happy. I was expecting a lot more, especially from the first set of DLC weapons in Infinite Warfare. But either way, before we do get into this, I'll definitely smash the like button on this video if you do go into the enjoy. And also, let me know in the comments down below which one out of the four you really want to get it's probably going to be in supply in fact how did you do last ones i think it was like you had one of them if you had the season pass like the assault rifle or something and you had to get like the variants in supply drop in fact i think you did like a challenge to do to get the base variant of each dlc weapon which is obviously a good idea for those people just like me i don't know about you guys man but i am not trying to spend money on these supply drops to get dlc weapons man like no matter how good it is but anyway yeah let me know in the comments down below which one you would rather get out of the four but anyway let's get into the first one real quick let me let me pull up my phone i must mention i'll link it in the description as well someone on reddit like went through the files of the game and found these weapons now they're still being like you know adjusted and stuff so they won't be coming in the game like like definitely but every time we get elite like this they always end up coming into the game eventually anyway so that's why i'm making this video like i don't really make you know leak videos or anything like this anymore but i just like one of them in particular just because it's been in the game for so long now and people are just like totally oblivious to it but anyway let's get into the first one now the first one is actually a submachine gun you guys can see it on screen right now but this weapon is basically a full auto ballistic firearm with dual barrels and dual magazines providing both increased bullet down range as well as faster reloads now i don't know about you guys but it does look it does look kind of weird i'm guessing it's like another one of those you know like mp5 weapons from like model warfare 2 model warfare 3 i believe stuff like that that's what i think this weapon is that's what a load of people have been saying someone said the scorpion as well but I'd say the MP5 to be honest, and that would be pretty cool in Infinite Warfare. I could just see it being on a really close range SMG, kind of like the UMP in Infinite Warfare already, to be honest, like the classic weapon. So that's how I kind of interpret that weapon right there. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of that one. But anyway, let's get into the next one real quick. We have got the MP28. Now, there's no real description of this weapon, but you guys can see it. And what this reminds me of, I'm guessing you guys will feel the same way as well. It's kind of like a PPSH type weapon. You guys may know it was recently added into Black Ops 3 as well. I don't know whether it will be the PPSH. I'm guessing it's called, again, the MP28. So, it's probably just like another one of those, you know, old-style weapon, kind of like the PPSH or maybe even like a Type 100 type weapon. If you guys have played, like, World at War, you'll definitely know what I'm talking about when I say this, man. Just one of those, one of those old weapons with a clip coming out the side I can't remember what that actually called. Maybe it's even called the MP28 and I'm just being stupid. I have I have no idea. But anyway, I can just see it being like, I don't know. Just an assault rifle with decent range, not anything special, just a nice weapon to have within Infinite Warfare. That's how I see this weapon being. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of that. Honestly, I'm kind of hyped for that one because honestly, it does look pretty cool. And one thing to mention about this weapon right here, again, it looks like one of those old style weapons. So maybe it will be a new classic weapon within the game as well. You know, similar to the, to the M1 that we see within Ecology Infinite Warfare as well. So maybe that's what this weapon is. I mean, all these four weapons that I'm talking to you guys about right here may not be coming in like the same set of weapons, the same drop. And like, they could just be separated over the year as well. Or they could just be like totally different categories. Like the one I mentioned at first, the MP5 could just be like a random weapon in the summer guns but this one this one could be a classic weapon you could unlock this with like a classic weapon unlock token i don't know that's just like a little idea of mine but anyway definitely let me know what you guys think of this weapon but the next one is actually it's kind of weird now this is a mini lmg you guys can see it on screen right now not much to say about it it just kind of reminds me of the death machine now this obviously it won't be as good as it looks let's be real so if this is added into infinite warfare you'll be really slow it will fire pretty fast but it might have like a little delay until you can actually shoot it i don't know there'll be something about this weapon to make it so it's not as strong as it actually looks it will just be one of those lmgs that no one will use in my opinion that's how i see this weapon so so full will be camping at the back of the map with this weapon right here that's what this is so yeah that's really all i can say about that lmg i mean there's no description on it as well so it's probably just going to be like one of those annoying lmgs 
OMGs that some people use. Alright, so now it's time to get into the interesting one real quick. So, I'm on the map Mayday, as you guys can see. Just pick any class. Let's go for this one. So, I'm pretty sure you guys should know where I'm about to go on this map if we're talking about DLC weapons. So, I'll show you guys on screen. In fact, let me show you guys real quick. You guys can see the VR AR-46. Now, that's the interesting weapon out of the four, in my opinion. And I'll show you guys why real quick. So, we're on, again, the map Mayday. A beautiful map right here. Got the Black Sky camera on my MV4 as well. But, here's the little Easter egg that some of you guys, I mean, most of you guys should know. If you play Infinite Warfare, you've definitely seen this before. I mean, none of us really knew what it was until now. Now it all actually makes sense. Now someone's actually dug into the files of the game and found this. It all makes sense, man. Now people saw this weapon. I mean, I saw this weapon and I was like, you know what? This has got something to do with a DLC weapon. Like, I mean, as soon as you see a weapon on a map, you've got to be thinking that. you got to be thinking, oh, this is an Easter egg. We saw something similar within Black Ops 3 as well. Like, it was a wall of weapons. I'm not too sure if those weapons actually ended up coming into the game, to be fair. But this one, this one, it is, man. So if we go into the armory right here, the armory gun range, walk into here real quick, and you can see all these weapons coming down. So you got the RPR, Evo, you got the, you got the S Ravage, but... What's that one, man? Oh, let me let me move my chair up real quick. What is that one? I don't recognize that weapon. That's not that's not in the game at the moment. I don't, I don't recognize that. Let's wait for it to come down real quick. In fact, yo, whilst we wait for that to come down, let me check out what's this. Oh, okay, okay. What are these? I can't really see them too well, but damn, these look like I don't recognize these in the game. Let me see these again. Oh, okay. That's the VR right there. You see that, guys? I'll put it side by side if you guys really want to see it. But look. That's the same weapon right there that has been found in the files of Infinite Warfare. So this, this is a DLC weapon and this has been a DLC weapon all along. You know, Infinity Ward have been planning this for a while and that's definitely why they put it into here. Like, it obviously is. There's no reason why they would do that other than it being a DLC weapon. And it's obviously been found in the files as well. It's pretty much just confirming it. Now, these are not 100% coming into the game, but the fact that this one's already on a map, and it's been here like for the entire lifespan of Infinite Warfare. I mean, I'm almost 100% that it's coming into the game. Like, look at it, man. It's the exact same thing. You guys can see it's the same weapon. We can't get it or anything like that. In fact, you got uh, in fact, you got VR right there. It's flipped, but it's VR. It's the exact same weapon. So it's definitely in the game. And that's the little Easter egg, man. So this has been in the game for a while. And no one really knew whether it was just an Easter egg or whether it was just like, you know, a futuristic weapon that they just decided to put into this little machine right here. So it is. It's coming into the game, which I'm kind of hyped about. If you don't know what this is, I'll read the description real quick. A full auto energy rifle exhibits great natural accuracy at the hip due to a custom barrel action that reduces recoil. And aiming down the sights increases the fire rate so if you guys have used like the mv4 chaos within this game basically what that weapon does if you hit firing it shoots a lot faster the fire rate increases this one's the total opposite if you aim in the fire rate increases so i think that's pretty cool but that is that weapon right there man but anyway that is the end of this video guys definitely smash the like button if you did enjoy subscribe if you are new around here let me know in the comments down below whether you guys saw that weapon on this map i'm guessing you did like most people did see this weapon it's crazy that it's actually been an easter egg this entire time it's a dlc weapon coming to infinite warfare which a lot of us kind of interpreted when we actually saw this on mayday in the first place but anyway it's finally been kind of confirmed the files are in this game to bring this weapon into suppliers but anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace hold a drink i'm just sipping good while they rolling stinks diamond chain bitches get so thirsty for these cuban links real nigga don't gotta prove it pit fuck what you think real killers your ass will be dead before you even